Hi folks, it's Charles, the inventor of the popular BioBlaster series of high-powered shock ozone treatment machines. And folks, today I'm here to discuss with you the matter of timers and remote controls. Well, what do timers and remote control have to do with each other? Not much. But uh, often I'm asked, Charlie, why didn't you build a variable output uh, spin rheostat dial into this machine so I could turn the ozone up and turn it down when I don't want it to be so high. Well the reason is really simple folks. Uh, in some states whether or not the ozone is in an air purifying machine is in tolerable levels is actually been banned. State of California for instance. So I don't make air purifiers folks. What I make are high output rugged shock power ozone machines. I leave the output at full blast for two reasons. One, if I added a rheostat switch, switch which I have many times uh, in different models um, for prototypes and experimentation, what happens is the high end of the output is reduced about 20%. So you lose 20% of the ozone output when you add a rheostat. But and the reason we and timers also uh, can be easily added into this device. But in my real life use of ozone generators across the board that were made by dozens of other manufacturers, my men were able to break virtually all of them. And the first thing that broke inevitably was the timer. Ti digital timers that can be built into this machine, they only cost a few dollars for me to buy wholesale. I can easily add them to the device. But if I do, and the machine ever breaks, you the homeowner, or especially the contractor, you're out of luck because the machine won't work without a functional timer. So we opted to leave the timers out of the machine and instead tell you to invest in a simple uh, seven to eight dollar heavy duty timer uh, from your Home Depot or Lowe's big box store. This, this timer is super simple. You just plug your machine into it. You set it like a microwave to come on and go off when you want it to. You plug it into the wall, you leave the room, and when you come back, the area you've treated uh, has been uh, shocked and cleaned. And if you leave it, if you set it to turn off two hours before you return to your home, the levels of ozone have practically returned to nothing. They're down to about a percent and a half. They've had six halvings in that two hour time period. So why didn't we build a timer in our ozone machines? Because I knew that if I did, it would be a disservice to you, the customer. Well, what's that got to do with remote controls? Well, it doesn't have a lot to do with remote controls, but if you're a contractor and you've ever used an ozone machine, chances are there's been a time or two where you didn't have your respirator handy and you had to go into the house to turn off an ozone machine during a treatment. And I, I can I confess I'm absolutely guilty and so are many of my, our men. Some of our Co uh, competitors even recommend that homeowners do this. I, I never recommend doing that. Learn from my mistakes in the past. Don't do that. Always use your ozone machine with a timer. Or if you're looking for one of our uh, the coolest new features to hit the ozone world, brought to you by again uh, me, the inventor of the BioBlaster, we have developed for you an add-on remote control starter for your ozone machine. This little device will let you turn your machine on or off from up to 80 feet away. That's right, you can be sitting out in your car and turn your ozone machine on and turn it off at the touch of a button. Turn it on, turn it off. It's just that simple. This allows you to turn off the ozone machine inside the room you're treating while you sit comfortably and safely on the other side of the door without breathe, having to breathe any of that gas and giving it the time it needs to dissipate prior to you, your re-entry. Folks, as a contractor, if I would have had one of these remote starters uh, years ago when I was in the trenches doing the physical work myself, uh, it would have been a godsend. Fortunately, my guys now have access to it, and your guys can too. It's a $75 feature. But boy, it's a remote control starter. Don't take my word for it. Buy one and prove.